This is a single board computer. I guess many of you will have that sort of thing. Show of hands. Okay, so lots of you might run Linux on it. Linux is getting everywhere in lots of internet connected devices. And I've been working on a graphics solution for those over the last few years. Uh, it's part of Ubuntu Core. The product that I'm talking about is Ubuntu Frame. Um, here's a few slides that I stole from one of the salespeople. I think some of them are more aspirational than others. Uh, but most of this stuff is actually customers. Um, and one of the things I've been working on is the developer story about building your user interface and getting it onto a device like this. Now, that demonstration, I timed it. It takes about 15 minutes. So I've just cut down a small part of it, and I've done that as a video. Um, and if you've got a desktop Linux environment, then you can do what I show in the video here, which I hope will roll. Thank you. You can demonstrate. Ubuntu Frame and a web kiosk based on Ubuntu Frame on a desktop computer. Uh, it has to be Linux, but it can be running an X11 or a Wayland based desktop. And you just start up a terminal window and install the Ubuntu Frame Snap. Because desktops could be running Wayland and Ubuntu Frame is based on Wayland, you need to make sure that the Ubuntu Frame and the applications you run on it are connect to each other. So you set the environment variable Wayland Display to something other than the default, and then you start Ubuntu Frame. Now, on the desktop, this will come up in a Mir on X window. Mir is a library that Ubuntu Frame is based on and it's a product from the Mir team. Uh, having done that, we'll install the Kiosk Snap that we need. The name of the Snap is WPE WebKit Mir Kiosk. And we're doing this in the same terminal so that they'll get the environment variable that makes them connect together. Having installed uh, the, the WebKit Snap, We'll also need to connect the Wayland interface, which is something you'd only need to do if you're running this on a desktop machine, uh, because it doesn't know which Wayland service to connect to when both the desk system itself and Ubuntu Frame provide that connection. You run the WebKit, and it comes up with a web page. Now, this is the same web page that would appear on an embedded device using these snaps or here. Um, you can wander around the page. It works like a web page. And you can play videos, whatever. But typically, you don't want to do the default WPE web page if you're doing a system with it. So it also has the capability to change that web page. You just need to set a snap property called URL on the snap. And we'll use the Mir web page as an example here. So next time we run the WebKit, on an embedded device, it would automatically start when the system comes up. But we have to run it for ourselves here. And we get to the Mir web page that has information about Ubuntu Frame. Ah, this is the Snap Store page about Ubuntu Frame. You can see there's some information there, including links to some tutorials, such as running Ubuntu Frame on your desktop, which is what we're doing here. It also includes instructions for running on various embedded devices. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs>